But that is it. Game over full time. Full time England have lost at home. They have lost at home at the Wembley Stadium and Hendrik coming off of the bench to give the winning goal for Brazil. He is crying right now. This is just so emotional, incredible feeling. He's 17 years old, his first match for Brazil, and he has scored the winning goal. And that is the difference in this match. Crazy, England nil, Brazil won. Good game, I think good game. First half, England was, was in it. Really, they looked like they were gonna score, but it's not really about the result. You know, you've got to understand, right? Friendlies are not about results. It's, it's definitely about the performance. And tonight, I think they did okay in some period, in certain phases of the game. But then in the second half, I think England completely collapsed. Completely collapsed. And I feel like this is a lesson for them. This is a big lesson for them. I see hugging like Vinicius Jr., Bellingham, Rodrigo hugging each other. Look, they're not taking this, this game seriously. Are they really taking this game seriously? I don't know. But we will definitely find out when England uh, play in the Euro 2024 in the summer. And of course, the same question could be asked for Brazil when they actually uh, play in the Copa America, the serious competition. How well are they going to perform? But in this match today, I think there's been a decent matchup and probably fairly, you could say, you could argue that Brazil deserves to win this match. Vinicius had a couple of chances. Paquetao hit the post. So all in all, I think Brazil was uh, a slightly better team compared to England. But yeah, guys, next game for England is going to be against uh, Belgium on Tuesday. We'll see. Another friendly match. We'll definitely see what's going to happen there. And for Brazil, they're going to be going to Spain to play. Uh, they're going to be going to Santiago Bernabeu uh, to play against Spain. So that's also an interesting matchup. But yeah, guys, let me know in the comment section who was your man of the match. I felt like Bellingham was, was decent in the first half, but then he just disappeared in the second half. So you guys let me know who's your man of the match. It has to be Hendrik. The game-winning goal came from uh, Hendrik. I'm giving it to him. You guys let me know who's your man of the match. But yeah, guys, that is it. That is it. And UFC, Sam, all of you, thank you all for joining us. Make sure to smash a like on the stream and do subscribe to the channel if you guys are new to the channel. But that is it, people. That is it. And I'm going to see you guys on the next one. Peace.